Another statistics problem, which means another problem. You look up in the reference guide, choose the equation, boop, bop, beep in your calculator, and out comes the goddamn answer to get you to pass this FE exam that seems to be nothing but just mathematics. What is this? Um, but as I told you before, you're just going to have to use and believe me uh, of this equation. So we're going to do 1 over n. n is the number of uh, numbers in your set, which is going to be 8 for this problem. And then we're going to do the sum of all those different iterations of those numbers in that set uh, by doing x1 minus mu uh, squared. That probably made zero sense, but you'll see what I mean. So we're going to define n. It is the quantity of numbers in set. I don't know if that's even the correct term. There's probably a specific scientific term that only uh, Albert Einstein knows and he hasn't shared with us yet. Hopefully in the near future he'll tell us in his uh, papers from the grave uh, journal entry. Uh, anyway, uh, x1 is just a number. I don't know how to describe that better than that. And the mu is your population mean or average. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's do the easiest one that we've been learning since like uh, kindergarten, I believe. Uh, let's do the average or the mean. You add up all this. Uh, I realize I could save time by just doing this notation. And then this is going to be 8, I believe. And your mean or population average is going to be 12. Hopefully I did that right. I think I did. And then let's define n. n is going to be 1 over 8. Or actually, it's going to be 8. I was taking a step ahead. And then what you're going to do is do all this arithmetic. I really don't want to write all this out. Uh, I really don't want to do this. We'll, we'll do the first one. So x1. x1 is going to be 11. So we're going to do 11. 11 minus the population mean, which is going to be 12, and then we square it. Now, we have four 11s, I believe. I forgot an 11 over here. There's four 11s, and we don't, we're going to write this four times. No, we're going to multiply by four, of course, silly. Um, and then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do 12 um, minus 12 squared. Uh, grand finale is going to be equal to zero. Interesting. But you keep doing this. You go you go through each one, 13, 14, and so forth, and you get your standard deviation of 1.18. Let me tell you.